So this is the area where we saw police for the last three days searching. And you can see we've walked now down onto the peninsula. They've lifted the police cordon here, evidence of trees that we saw being cleared. Uh, we can walk further in as well. And you can see really just how remote this location is as we go through. And I can already see in front of me more very clear evidence of clear trees which have been cleared. So you can see here the fresh cutting uh, of the stumps. And the reason that the police have been focusing on this point for the last three days is because of a tip-off that was given to the German prosecutor. So they asked the Portuguese authorities if they'd relaunch a search, the first search on Portuguese soil for Madeleine McCann in nearly a decade. And um, what we've seen is teams from the UK, from Germany, um, from Portugal coming down here uh, and bringing heavy machinery to clear this land, as you say, uh, also bringing dogs. Now, if I come a bit further here, we can see an area, if you want to go in front, Paul, that has clearly been excavated. Um, have a bit more of a look. Um, so, holes here in the ground. Um, so, clearly this is a way that they've been collecting evidence. The reason that they focused on this area is because it's believed to have been a haunt for the prime suspect that was named in this case by the Germans and also named as a person of interest by the Portuguese, Christian B, a convicted sex offender in prison in Germany. Now, he's always denied any involvement in the disappearance of Madeleine McCann, but uh, police and prosecutors, because of this tip-off, decided this was a place that they wanted to visit because it's believed it was a place that he came often. He said it was his paradise, allegedly. So these holes, potentially where they've taken soil away to test or possibly where they've seen something that they want to uncover, um, also, you can see here more earth, which has been moved. And then if we walk back further down onto the shore, we can have a look at some of the other things that they've done. So here are the trees again. You can see that they have cleared. Um, and it was interesting because this tree clearing st seemed to start more on the second day. That's when we saw the, set, the big heavy machinery coming in. Um, and we saw teams with dogs coming around this area. We were on the other side of the bank, but we could clearly see they brought in the sniffer dogs and they brought them to the other side. We'll just move round because obviously other media are here as well. This is a case which has caught the attention of the world, really, for 16 years. It's not just, of course, the family who are desperate for answers. Many, many people want to know what happened to Madeleine McCann, who, of course, disappeared from that apartment in Praia de Luche in May. So you can see this was an area, a huge reservoir here in front of us. This was an area which had been searched in 2008, a year after Madeleine McCann disappeared, by a Portuguese lawyer who hired a private team and nothing was found then. But because of this tip-off, German prosecutors asked for the search to be redone again. Now, as it stands, we don't know if they found anything of interest. They're taking away whatever they found. We've seen them moving away with uh, white bags for the last three days. We don't know what was in those bags. There have been unconfirmed reports that they were told to look for rags. That certainly has not been confirmed by any officials. Understanding that this information came from a credible informant but the important thing to remember is, though the search teams have gone, this investigation is far from over. They will now be spending the next time testing anything that they've got, doing further research, continuing to try to find out what happened to Madeleine McCann.